environmental science with Min. Hello guys, today we'll be talking about environmental health, focusing on food safety. So, what is food security and why it, this is so important and why it is hard to attain? So many of the poor have health problems from not getting enough food, while many people in affluent countries suffer from health problems from eating too much. So, pag may isip nyo ang ano, malnutrition, most of you will naiisip yung mga payat sa payat from Africa or yung mga butot balat. But in reality, malnutrition is also defined as yung mga overnutrition, yung mga obese. So the greatest obstacle is to provide enough food for everyone who are in poverty, political upheaval, corruption, war, and harmful environmental effects of food production. So there are two types of farming in recent years, um, an industrialized agriculture and organic agriculture. Um, sa industrialized, gumagamit sila ng synthetic fertilizer. And nakadepende sila sa mga, na, uh, sa mga machines and non-renewable fossil fuels. And it was it is globally expert, export and gumagamit sila ng mga antibiotics. So organic agriculture naman, nag-e-emphasize sila sa pag-prevent uh, pag sa soil erosion. Gumagamit sila ng mga organic fertilizer, mga compost, nag employ sila ng crop rotation, wala silang mga genetically modified seeds. Um, gumagamit sila ng mga renewable energy, le- uh, produce less air and water pollution, pero sa local lang sila, most on local, and it doesn't ha- use uh, growth hormones nor antibiotics. So, lack of sufficient food. Enough food for all but in developing countries, once one out of six do not get enough food to eat. Poverty and food insecurity causes chronic hunger and malnutrition. So, sa bawat isang taon, isang million na bata ang mamamatay dahil sa guto. So, nutrition. Nutrition, micronutrients and macronutrients. So, pag sinasabi natin malnutrition, um, low in protein, low in carbohydrate diet, in physical and mental health problems. So, 6 million children will die each year dahil sa malnutrition. Itong picture na to ay kinunan sa Africa. Ito yung vulture. It won a prize somewhere in the photography sense. And after a few months, the photographer committed suicide. It's sad story, guys. If you can see the picture, hintay na lang mamatay yung bata siya. At para kainin ng vulture. It's a really sad. So, ito yung graph kung saan marami ang uh, malnourished. So, mata- maraming malnourished sa Pilipinas. Eh? So, overnutrition. Too much calorie, too little exercise, or both. Similar overall health outlook as undernourished. 1.6 billion people eat too much. 66% of adults are overweight and 34% are obese. Most likely, mamamatay sila dahil sa heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes and cancer. So, paano na pro-produce ang food? So, we have we have used high input, industrialized agriculture, and lower input traditional methods to greatly increase supply of food. So, saan tayo pwede makakuha ng pagkain? Major crop lands, range lands, pasture, and fisheries. So, sa mga farms, sa mga aquarium, sa mga fisheries, saan tayo pwede makakuha ng pagkain? So, ever since the 1960s, nag-increase ang demand natin sa food. Dahil nagkaroon tayo ng mga be- 
better supply sa machinery, nagkaroon ng high-tech fishing fleets, nagkaroon ng irrigation, nagkaroon ng mas madisang pesticide. So, industrialized agriculture, so, napaka-heavy niya sa mga equipment, pre-national capital, water, fossil fuels, commercial inorganic fertilizer. So, dahil dyan sa industrial, we produce so much food for the global consumption. So, traditional agriculture, pag dinipay natin agri uh, traditional agriculture, agriculture, ang naiisip natin yung mga magsasaka sa farm talaga. Yung, yung may kalabaw, yung nagsasaka sila na mano-mano, na habang kumakanta ng magtanim ay bibiro. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang guys. Pero seriously, so, traditional agriculture can be defined as primitive style of farming that involves the intensive use, instead, eh, sorry, intensive use of indigenous knowledge, traditional tools, natural resources, and organic fertilizer. So, 2.7 billion people in developing countries are farmers. So, here's the sad part. According to isang pag-aaral, the average age of farmers ngayon sa Pilipinas is 57. A majority of our youth doesn't want to go to the agricultural sector. Okay. Traditional and commercial. So, high temperature, high rainfall, high humidity. Cut terraces. So, so I think the difference between tra high, uh, traditional and commercial. Yung, yung mga tools nila na ginagamit, yung mga pesticides. So, paulit-ulit na tayo dito in between the difference. So, ito yung mga focus natin, soil. Soil is composed of eroded rock, mineral nutrients, decay, organic matter, water, air, and organisms. So, ito naman, soil is the basis of life. Ito yung mga parts of soil. So, pag oil, O horizontal uh, soil profile mo is O is in organic material. Pag A top soil, yan, top soil. C is partially weathered barren material and R yun yung bedrock. So there's a there's a three step green revolution. So they select breed monoculture, yield to high input, fertilizer, pesticide, and water. And second green revolution, the past growing dwarf varieties of wheat and rice. on production of new crop <laughs> variety so marami tayong ways para uh, magproduce ng bagong crop ng ano halimbawa magco-cross breeding yung iba gagamit ng mutation yung iba restom or genetic engineering so ito example noon kung paano na kung, kung ma, na nangyayari ang genetic So, meat production. So, meat and dairy products are a good source of protein. In the past 60 years, dumo, uh, naging five times ang consumption natin ng, ng meat. And half of the meat from grazing livestock and half from blood. So, pag mga malalakas kumakas,
kumain ng mga baboy or mga beef, tayo, sila yung most likely nagpo-produce ng greenhouse gas compared sa mga big vegan. Ganun rin, nag-increase rin ang demand natin sa shellfish and fish. So, what are environmental problems arise from food? Food production. So, in the future, food production may be limited by soil erosion and degradation, desertation, and uh, water and air, air pollution. Climate change from greenhouse gas and emission and loss of biodiversity. So, ito, makikita niyan, pag loss of biodiversity, water. So, soil erosion. So, dahil sa uh, flowing water, wind, soil infertility declines, um, water pollution occurs, some natural causes, and much due to human activity. So, ito yung mga isura ng soil erosion. Philippines has a serious soil erosion problem. Drought and human activity. Desertification, uh, combination of prolonged drought and human activities. 70% of world dry lands used for agriculture will be exacerbated by climate change. So, effect of irrigation. So, leaves behind salt in topsoil. Um, nagiging salt yung land. Um, land. Dahil sa salinization. Water logging. Attempt to leach salt deeper but raises water table. Limits to expanding green revolution. High input to expensive for subsistence partner, uh, par farmers. Water not available for increasing population. Irrigated land per capita for dropping. Significant expansion of crop unlikely for economic and ecological reasons. Industrial food production requires huge energy input, mostly non-renewable oil. So, controversy over genetically engineered food. Potential long-term harm, ecological effects, genes cross from with wild plants, and patents on GMF varieties. So, ito ang advantage and disadvantage ng, ng GMO. Less fertilizer, less water, more resistant to insect diseases, grow faster, grow slightly, so slightly in salty soil, uh, may need less pesticide, high tolerance in herbicide, and higher yield, and less foliage. Pero, ang disadvantage niya, irreversible and unpredictable genetic effects sa atin. And the surrounding harmful toxin in food from possible cell mutation, new allergens in food, lower nutrition, increase in pesticide resistant insects, herbicide resistant weeds, and can harm beneficial insects. So, food and biofuel production lead to major losses of biodiversity. So, forest is clear, grass and plots, and loss of agrobiodiversity. So, since the 1900s, 70% of genetic diversity of crops lost. So, industrial meat production consequence. Ano bang consequence ng, um, ano bang consequence ng industrial meat production? Uses large amount of fossil fuel. Waste can pollute water, overgrazing, a soil compaction, and methane increase greenhouse gases. So, agriculture problems. Fish meal and fish oil, as said, deplete 
while increasing population, it will increase nested concentrations of genes such as PCB production in large amount of waste. So, example, rinapli yung mga isa sa isang area lang. So, dito, hindi mga tayo sila. So, magkakaroon ng kontakt na dito. So, aqua cold spore, high efficiency, high yield of small volumes of water can reduce over-harvesting of fishes, low fuel cost, and high profit. Pero ang problem niya is, uh, marami siyang waste output, needs a large input of land and trees in water, used to drain fish meal and other fish oils to feed some fish. So, kung nakakasira rin siya ng mango forest and other, uh, other water fields. So, how can we protect crops from pests more sustainably? We can sharply cut pesticide use, reduce feed out crop yield by mixing uh, cultivation techniques, biological pest control, and small amounts of select, selected chemical pesticide as a last resort. So this is nature's pest control. Poly culture are pest control by natural enemies and monoculture and plant theory. So ito yung mga natural pest control. So, increasing use of pesticides since the 19, uh, 1950s, 50 times ang sinaas ang paggamit ng pesticide. Broad spectrum agents, selective agent, and um, yan ang naging effect. So, ito yung conventional chemical pesticide. Advantage niya is nakakapag-stabilize, nag-increase ng food supply, portability, um, it works fast, safe, it's used properly. Disadvantage na promote genetic resistance, kills natural pest enemies, pollute the environment, can harm wildlife and people, and are expensive for farmers. So pros and cons of modern uh, modern pesticides. So advantage niya na kapag stabilize. So so, kaya yung sinabi dito kanina, yun yung mga advantages. Okay, moving on. So, loss of regulating pesticides. So, Environmental Protection Agency or APA, FDA, and Congressional Legislation ang nagpo-promote ng um, food production and the safety of food and environment natin. Oh, may, mostly food, yung mga consumption natin. So, reducing exposure to pesticides. By, um, grow, grow some of your food using organic methods, buy organic food, wash and scrub all fresh fruits and vegetables and wild foods, eat pigs, eat less meat or no meat, trim the path from meat. So, let's, let's focus on this. Dial bean, dial green kill malaria mosquitoes but also other insects poison move up the food chain lizards and cats died and rat flourish villages group collapse from caterpillars and natural insect predators eliminated so ano bang mga pwedeng nating alternative pest pesticide pull the pest uh, provide home for the pest enemies in plant genetic resistant plants natural enemies kagaya ng mga pusa, uh, permones to trap insects or attract predators, or hormones to disrupt life cycle. So, how can we integrate the pest management? Evaluate the crop and its pest as, as part of ecological system. Design a problem with cultivation techniques, biological control, chemical tool and technique can reduce cost and pesticide use without lowering crop yield. So, how can we improve food security? We can improve food security by creating programs to reduce poverty and chronic malnutrition, relying more on locally grown food and cutting waste. So, use government policy to improve food production and security. It helps control the prices, helps consumer and, and, and provide
provide subdiva- uh, subsidiary to farmers, price for tax break, food encouragement production, um, can harm. So, you know, mga ways. So, it can also reduce childhood death by immunization, breastfeeding, a vitamin A, family planning, and health education to women. So, 5 to $10 annually per child would prevent half of nutrition-related disease. How can we produce food more sustainably? More food sustainable more sustainable food production involves reducing overgrazing and overfishing, irrigating more efficiently using integrated pest management, promoting agrobiodiversity, and providing government subsidy only for more sustainable agriculture, fishing, and aquaculture. Reduce soil erosion, terracing, contour plowing, strip cropping, alley cropping, wind, uh, windbreakers, shelter belts, conservation tillage farming, no-till farming, minimum tillage farming, and retired erosion hotspots. So government intervention, government influence food production, control price, provide sub- Dairy, let the market decide, reduce hunger, malnutrition, and environmental degradation, slow population growth, sharply reduce poverty, develop sustainable, low agriculture. So, restoring so- soil fertility, organic fertilizer, and inorganic fertilizer. So how can we have a more sustainable aquaculture? Uh, restrict location of farm, uh, fish farm to reduce losses of mangroves and estuary. Improve management of aquaculture waste. Reduce escape of aquaculture species into the wild. Raise some aquaculture species in deep submerged cages to protect them from wave action and predators to allow the illusion of waste into the ocean. So sustainable meat production, shape to eating, um, herb, herbivores eat uh, fish or poultry, eat less meat, vegetarian. So or, uh, how, switch more to uh, sustainable agriculture, organic farming, perennial crop, polyculture, and renewable energy. So, six strategies for sustainable agriculture. Increase research on sustainable agriculture, set up demonstration projects, international fund to help the poor, farmers establish training programs, subsidiary only for sustainable agriculture, education program for consumers. So, yeah. So, moving on, let's focus on the health side. So, every year... Foodborne diseases cause 1 in 10 people to fall ill. 33 million he- healthy life years are lost. Foodborne disease can, can be deadly, especially in children. So at least 420 deaths every year or one third of the children will die because of foodborne, foodborne disease. So it's an example ng foliage. Mga na, nabubulok na pagkain. So, food in health and disease. So, food is essential for growth and maintenance of life. So, food is also responsible for ill health, intrinsic and extrinsic hazard. So, factors contributing to increased trend in foodborne illness change, change in the ways of production, processing, and preparing food, increase in environmental pollution, increase in pressure on primary production to meet the demands of increasing world production population, intensive farming, misuse of antibiotic, and mass slaughter process. Greater international movements of both food and people, changing lifestyle, and increasing the portion of the population is more suspectable. So what caused people to become sick when eating contaminated food? So there are four reasons. Biological, chemical, physical, and microbial. 
So, pag sinabi natin biological, yung mga parasites, yung mga fungi, mga bacteria, well, in chemical siya mga toxin, medication, radioactive materials, alcohol, and physically, mga foreign object, kagaya ng mga buhok, pebble, mga mga bubog. So, ano ba sign of symptoms? Um, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and vomiting. So, what's the difference between food infection and food intoxication? Food infection refers to the presence of bacteria of or other microbes which infect the body after consumption. While food intoxication refers to the ingestion of toxin contained within the food including bacterially produced exotoxin. So, I think yung ano difference between foodborne infection and intoxication. Pag food uh, infection, bak- galing sa bacteria, parasites, and viral infection, invade or multiply sa lining ng intestine. So, incubation period, it takes hours or days. So, usually may diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal cramp. So, naka- pwede siya mahawa person to person. So, ang factors niya is hindi may sa pagkaluto, nagkaroon ng contamination sa pagkain, poor personal hygiene. So, intoxication, poisoning, to- toxin, natural, preform, bacterial, chemical. So, no invasion or multiplication, incubation period, vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, not communicable, and factors inadequate cooking. Yan ang naging ano dito. So basically, ang tatanda nyo lang dito is may invasion pag infection, pag toxin, no invasion. So, foodborne illness, um, dahil sa temperature of use, poor personal hygiene, and cross-contamination. So, ito yung mga most likely magkasakit dahil sa foodborne disease. Mga bata, matatanda, yung mga buntis, at yung mga mahina ang immune system. Habang tumatagal, guys, mas na magiging contaminated kung ganong katagal siya naka-expose sa labas. And between 5 to 60 degrees Celsius, doon na mamalagi ang mga bakterya. Uh, primary emphasis is on for the protection of the consumer from illness caused by food deals with health hazard and sanitary features of food handling involved in the recognition of the modes of trans- transmission of the major agents of foodborne disease and knowledge of the available and accepted means for protection of its consumer against agents needed to pre- prevent foodborne illness. So, ito yung, ano, tatanda nyo na element for food safety. Time, temperature, coldness, hand washing, wash, rinse, sanitize, and heat. So, pag, pag sinabi natin cleaning, malinis lang siya. Lininis lang siya sa mga physical surface yung nakikita. While sanitizing, pinapatay niya yung bacteria, yung mga microorganism. Contamination is the presence of substance or condition in which food that can be harmful to human. Halimbawa, iniwan mo sa inita ng ano, pag, pagkain nyo. Siyempre, ma, uh, makakontaminate siya. Or halimbawa, pinaghalo mo ang basang, basang hindi pa lutong chicken sa lutong chicken. So, food flow consists of Food products and ingredients used to make them as they flow through the food establishment begins with the purchase of safe and wholesome ingredients from approved source and ends in preparation service. So, tatandaan nyo yan. Important yan sa course. So, the role of government is to oversee food production, product, producing system and to protect food that is intended for food consumption. Uh, enforce laws and rules to protect the food against alter, uh, adulteration and contamination. So, food sanitation sh- should ensure primarily the consumption 
of teeth and wholesome food and thereby protect the consumer from illness at the same time promote good health and well-being. Good sanitation should also prevent sale of food offensive to the purchaser or inferior in value and quantity. So basically, dapat high class lahat ng place sa kalayan. So, yung talagang safe. In addition, food sanitation should be cut down spoilage and waste of food. So, ito yung mga ways to prevent contamination. Dapat may packaging, mali, dapat dinidinis yung equipment, um, sorry, washing with water and detergent and hygienic kind of equipment. Para makontrol ng bacteria growth, pinapalamig, linalagyan ng acid, and pin- pinutuyo. So, to kill microorganism is heat treatment or radiation or UV radiation or uhugasan. So, factors to be considered in the sanitary food, uh, control of food. So, place of production and processing of food for supply, transportation of, of food, kung ilalagay sa freezer, kung malayo ang punan, and retail and distribution point. So, guys, tandaan nyo to, laging lalabas to. 5 to 60 degrees is the um kung saan namamalagi ang mga bacteria at nagmumultiply. So keeping the food hot, we need to cook food at above 60 degrees until it's served, freeze or um refrigerate the food that is prepared well in advance and reheat it until steam. Cook or reheat package strictly according to the direction, place hot food in the refrigerator once it stops steaming. Divide large quantity of food into small, shallow containers for faster cooling and reheating for use as quick as possible until steaming hot. Para mapalamig din naman ang mga pagkain nyo, take all cold grocery home to the refrigerator as soon as possible. Keep chill the frozen cold food if it's Store it in... Um, below 5 degrees, keep cold food in the refrigerator as, ma- as much as possible. Uh, so, now in yung frozen food sa refrigerator or microwave. Store and handle cold food according to direction labels and check temperature of refrigerator constantly. So, I think that uh, World Health Organization rules. So, we'll end the lecture right now. And